you guys, it's Miss Erica. I'm going to be sharing with you a fun and easy painting project that you can do at home. And it doesn't involve that many things. You're just going to need some white paper. And you are going to need, if you have any like fake leaves or fake flowers or anything like that that you can use to paint with, we'll need those. And you're going to need some paint. doesn't matter what colors you pick. I'm going to do a blue palette for my painting today. You're also going to need some watercolors. This set has a lot of different colors in it, but you can use one that even if it only has your basic colors in it, that's perfect. You just need something that's watercolor. And of course, you're going to want to have your paintbrush and a cup of water. That's important. And remember, a piece of paper to put your picture under or on top of. Sorry. So get ready. It's going to be a watercolor picture with acrylic paint flowers on it. Enjoy. Okay, guys, now that we have everything we need for our project, first thing we're going to do is we're going to watercolor our page. So you're going to get some water and you want to pick whatever colors you want to be using. And with watercolor, you don't have to put too much water on your brush. But you're going to just do like this on your page. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making a sky and some grass. So I'm going to be using different colors, different color of blues to make my sky. I want a nice clear blue sky. And you can mix your different color blues together. And have something very unique and special. All right, so you just keep on painting your sky like so. You can even put swirls in it like this. Make some swirly patterns, however you would like. So you're just going to keep painting until your whole top half of your page is blue. All right, now it's time for your grass. So for this one, I'm going to use different color greens just to paint my grass. There's dark greens, light greens, bright greens, any green you can think of. And you're just going to continue painting. And with this, you don't have to, you don't have to be a professional artist or anything to paint with watercolors. It's a nice relaxing activity. And kids, you can get super creative with how you paint this. Okay, there's no one perfect way to do watercolor. But just keep on working on your grass. And then when you're all done, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, just one more little bit of green. And then we'll be all finished with our grass. All right, just right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our paint ready. So for your paint, you're going to get a plate. And you want to put, let's get this out of the way. You're going to want to put your paints on it. And I'm going to be using some different color blue. So we have that blue. This is an acrylic paint. Okay. This is peacock blue. And then we have another one. This is turquoise. There we go. And lastly, we have robin's egg blue. Okay. So we're going to put them on our plate. And for the next part, you're going to be using your flowers. So get those ready. All right. Now we have our picture. We have our flower. And you're just going to kind of do your flower down like that. You know, just dip it in the paint. A little bit of paint on it. And then you're just going to smash it down on your picture. Like that. Then you can get some more paint. 
kind of get the paint on your leaves and your flower should look like this and then you can kind of dab it on a paper towel if you want to get some of the excess off and then you're just going to dab it on your canvas and you get your other color and when you do this your colors are going to kind of mix up but that's okay that means you're just going to have that much more fun color on your picture got some more this reminds me a little bit of texas blue bonnets they're not in the same shape but that's okay yes there's another flower And you're just going to continue to smash your flowers down until you get a nice little picture. And just continue this until you're ready. Okay, now you are all done with your artwork. So it looks like you have a beautiful sky in the background and a lovely field of flowers. Good job, everybody. And don't forget to thoroughly wash your hands when you're finished. Bye. See you next time.